Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be making DIY watercolor bookmarks and our first bookmark is watercolor doodle bookmark. Start by first painting your bookmark. I have chosen olive green because it makes me feel fresh. You can go with any of your favorite colors. Here we have to struggle a little bit for a texture which is dark color from up which is going towards light as it comes down. You simply have to play with your watercolor and water until you get perfect satisfying results. I am really satisfied with how my bookmark turned out so now I'm going to start sketching my doodle. I plan to sketch a normal simple flower. You can go with any other idea if you want just make sure not to make it clumsy. Now border it with acrylic white color or you can also use a white gel pen if you have. I decided to also border it with black pen to make it look bolder on our bookmark. And in this way we have successfully completed with our first bookmark. Let us move on to our second one which is watercolor splash bookmark. Here we are going to be starting with a technique which I also showed you guys in the video I had uploaded like few months ago. Make sure to watch that video out, it's fun. Okay now back to our bookmarks. Grab a plastic sheet which is almost the size of your bookmark and scribble brush pens onto it. Grab your favorite colors. If you don't have brush pens, then you can always go with watercolor based sketch pen. Grab a spray bottle and spray some water onto your plastic sheet. Place your bookmark onto your plastic sheet and press it tightly. Now peel off the plastic and the effect you will see is just so amusing. And clean the smudges off with a tissue paper and leave the bookmark to dry. This is how it looks when it's completely dried. I decided to write a quote for whenever I read it, I will feel cheerful. Now it's time to border our quote bold. Just a little more calligraphy and we are done. Ta-da! Almost completed with both of our bookmarks just to make them look more interactive. I'm going to cut its edges. Last but not the least to complete this DIY we have to do a step. Just punch holes into your bookmarks with a normal regular punching machine. Get a jute thread and tie it to your bookmarks to complete this DIY. And yes, in this way we have completed this DIY. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure to try this out. Also if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. Now it's your time to try this DIY out. Bye!